Hello, subbies and new buddies. Welcome back to another Guild Wars 2 guide. Here we are with day one events of the Winter's Day Guild Wars 2012. This one is the Snowball Mayhem. Snowball Mayhem is the PvP event. Alright, so here we are. We're in front of Snowman. Uh, this Snowman uh, tells us the roles that are assigned to this PvP event, as well as me, I'm going to tell you. Uh, you can also just, uh, click on what class you want to be by pressing either 7, 8, or 9, 7 being support, 8 being the heavy gunner, and 9 being scouts. So I chose scouts because that's the character I play in TF2, so I picked scout. Alright, so um, scout, since I already picked him first, I'm going to start with his skills. His first skill for any one of the classes is a regular projectile skill that just throws snowball and does damage. Scout's second skill is a shot that um, will toss him backwards, doing somewhat of a heavy heavy damage. Uh, third skill for scouts, uh, he shoots out a barrage of snowballs at an enemy. Uh, it's all really random, it's kind of like inherent too. The fourth shot is a charging shot. This is scouts most powerful shot. The idea behind it is that you charge by holding the button down and then holding the left click down and then when you're ready to unleash it, it deals a heavy amount of damage. A, a very good fully charged shot for the fourth skill could be maybe anywhere between three fourths to four fifths of their health gone. So it's a really good skill. I enjoy it a lot. That's also the reason why I kept playing scouts. I didn't really pay too much of the heavy gunner or the supporter. It's fine. The fifth skill on the scout is what makes them achieve one of the missions in this game much easier. This fifth skill allows them to go invisible for a short period of time. And that's pretty much it. Everyone's first skill is the same, everyone's sixth skill is the same. The sixth skill allows you to just lay a trap on the floor every 40 something seconds. And that's pretty much it. Alright, so uh, before I talk about the other two classes, let me go ahead and tell you the objective in this game. As you see, I just killed someone that helps you get about maybe uh, 10 to 20 points depending on how the kill was uh, gone about, whether or not they assist or if you really want to kill the person and all that good stuff. The other objective to this game is, to, as you can see, we're fighting over this person who is holding, currently holding the yes. It's a bit of a capture the flags, but not really. Capture the flag requires you to um, go to the other person's base. It's more like a capture the briefcase, if I can quote GoldenEye terms. The idea is that a president will spawn in the middle of the map, and then you would have to either capture it and then bring it back to your base, and the base will have a present icon that tells you, oh, okay, this is where you will lay the present down. And you earn about 100 points for that. Uh, the goal of this game is to achieve, first to achieve 500 points is the winning team, and then at the end of that, the reward is about three, I think three, it matters because the, the presents are all different. Uh, I think three personalized ones, so so that's that's pretty good. Uh, I'm currently trying to heal myself, but I think I'm going to end up yeah, end up being killed. Uh, that screen you just saw is basically a damage meter telling you a death recap of how your death was, you know, how your death was uh, gone about. That The point you see on the left right there, that is where you will lay the present down. It's also shown in the little mini map on the bottom right if you see that. Also on the bottom right of the mini map is the present icon. It's telling you that it's currently being captured by the blue people. And I am on the blue team. How you can know if you're on the blue team or the red team. Those are the colors of two different teams. The left side, uh, your teammates are tinted by the color blue. That tells you you're the blue team. Um, if you're red, it'll be red. On the top of the middle of the screen, you'll see the red side and the blue side. Those are the current points of the game. And then you see the icon that disappeared at 5. That tells you the point that they gathered. So uh, we just got 5 just now and so on and so forth. Okay. Uh, upon killing an enemy, uh, you can go ahead and just um, finish them. And then a, a gigantic snowman will just follow them. Or you can capture presents. Uh, the best, the most points is capturing presents. But, uh, you know, good PvP is pretty good. Um, the difficulty of this event is not that hard. It's actually really fun. Anyone can play it. Um, it's uh, out of 5. It'll probably be a 1 out of 5 because it's really that easy. But it's, in terms of just, you know, trying to farm ma material in order for you to um, purchase stuff at the event store, it's just, it's just too long. So it's, it's just a bit too long for one match, depending on how well or even match the team is. So uh, that's pretty much most of the gameplay uh, I got. It's going to continue for one full match. So let me go ahead and discuss about the other two classes. Alright, so 
you are currently watching the scout. Now the other class are the heavy gunners and support. The heavy gunner is indeed what the talus is, is heavy gunner. Basically you mount a weapon, but then you when you're ready to use that weapon, you are you slow down your speed for a good period of time. The first skill is of course just some regular projectile skill. The second skill you shoot a cone of ice in front of you and that does damage over time. The third skill, I believe you leap towards an enemy. Yeah, you leap towards the enemy to uh, catch up closer. I guess that will make up for the lack of speed. Uh, you can also like, uh, not dismount, but you can also unequip and equip your heavy gunner weapon to make you move fast between fights. The fourth skill, you shoot a gigantic spiky snowball at the enemy and that does some pretty decent knockback damage. The fifth skill on the heavy gunner is, and, and is also what makes them very unique is they will cast a Protect a protective shield that will reflect projectiles as well as you take reduced damage. So I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, and the sixth skill is of course the late trap for every 40 seconds. So that's pretty much all there is to heavy gunner. So here's a good close up of the presence area. Here you go. And I think we're done. Right? We're done. We're, yeah, we're done. Okay, great. So now we can go ahead to the last class, which is the supporter. So the supporter class. There, I like to say, if you had to pick one, that would probably be the most annoying. If you had to pick one that's annoying, that's probably the most annoying. And the reason why that is, is because they have skills that prevent you f from finishing them. So, and with, even though their name is Supporter, they only have one healing skill, which is nice and all, but they probably do more damage than support. So, their second skill, they will heal five allies within range. And that's pretty much it. And you also give them a good uh, health regeneration. Their third skill allows them... I think I think it's the third skill. I don't want to mix the skills up. But yeah, the third skill uh, is, a, is a pretty reasonable um, AOE area where uh, it will cause characters to slip. And that's a skill that will prevent uh, players to uh, finishing off the teammates. And that's a pretty low cooldown, so I actually appreciate that skill a lot. Um, so what people tend to do uh, to negate, you know, finishing enemies off, they will just either um, just attack the enemies to death, or you know, that's, or you know, if they get lucky enough, they actually have to finish them off. Um, the fourth skill is, if I remember correctly, the fourth skill allows you to cast uh, a wall and an area in front of you. And that's pretty good because uh, most most um, skills in this game are projectiles. So if you want to go ahead and obstruct an attack, that would be it. Oh, yeah. oh, hey, here's me winning. Oh, this is good. This is good. So this is the screen right here where you will see the red and blue team stats uh, to tell you where uh, who got the most points. There's also a uh, kind of a kill recap on the right that tells you who got killed and who killed who. So that's pretty good. And the last skill, back to the supporter, the last skill on the supporter, the fifth skill, uh, the, it's kind of funny, the supporter rolls into a snowball, basically causing an avalanche, and then you uh, knock back enemies when you approach them. So Alright guys, so that's it. If you want to go ahead and click on the other videos, that will take you to the other day one events. If, if you want to follow me on Twitch, Facebook, or the Tweety Bird, go ahead and do so. Link in the description. If you want to subscribe to me for more Guild Wars 2 guides, that would be cool. That would be great for both of us. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.
So it's kind of funny. It's kind of like your gigantic snowball or avalanche. It, it just basically you see in the background where it's like. So that's pretty much it. And uh, that's all there is to the PvP event. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy the PvP because that's actually had a lot of fun this one. But it's just too time consuming and I just want to farm materials all day. But yeah guys, so that's it. Thanks for watching and catch up the next one. want to follow me on Twitch, Facebook, or oh.